One very important part of scuba diving is having the right gear. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're at Total Diving to learn what gear you need to take on scuba diving. No matter what aquatic activity you're going to be choosing, it's important that you need to be able to see underwater. In order to achieve this purpose, snorkelers, scuba divers, and free divers all wear a mask. Now, a mask serves a general purpose of providing an airspace in front of our eyes so that we can see underwater. And the most important thing to consider when buying a mask is its fit, because there's nothing worse than having water in your face all the time and taking all the fun out of your dive. One of the first pieces of equipment that most scuba divers are going to buy is going to be a pair of fins. Fins provide the basic method of propulsion underwater, so it's important that people pick a fin that fits their body type and strength. Before you jump in the water, one of the first things you're going to need is a snorkel. If you want to be able to keep your face in the water to see the fish below while snorkeling, or if you want to be able to rest at the surface while scuba diving, you're going to need to have this in your kit. Now, there are many different types and varieties of snorkels. Some are better for snorkeling, some are better for scuba diving, and some are preferred for free diving. So before you buy your snorkel, talk to somebody at your local dive store and they'll help you make the best choice. Unless you're diving in a hot tub, diving in any type of water is going to be colder than your body temperature. Prolonged exposure to cooler water is going to strip heat away from your body. Therefore, scuba divers wear various types of exposure protection in order to make sure that they maintain an adequate level of comfort for the duration of their dive. Perhaps the most specialized and important piece of equipment in scuba is the scuba regulator. The scuba regulator consists of a first stage and a second stage. The purpose of a scuba diving regulator is to take high pressure air from a cylinder to ambient pressure in the diver's mouth. Typically when people dive, you will see that they also have a secondary regular, typically called an octopus, which is a standard piece of equipment used in case of emergency. When buying a regulator, divers should take into consideration where they'll be diving, the type of diving they're going to be doing, and consult their local dive expert to make sure they pick a regulator that suits their needs. In scuba diving, there's critical information that a diver needs to have in order to monitor his dive and make sure that he stays within recreational no decompression limits. Nowadays, most scuba divers use computers. Computers are advantageous because they take all the guesswork out of diving, follow your exact profile while you're underwater, and give you the maximized bottom time that you have. They also work like a bit of an autopilot so that you can program them in order to alarm you when you've exceeded the maximum desired depth, when you're running low on air, or for any other various reason. Now various models of computers exist. You can have consoles, which will connect to the first stage of your regulator. You can also have wrist mount computers, and nowadays computers are even done in watch mounted models. Another key component to the scuba diving equipment is going to be the BCD, or buoyancy control device. A BCD allows a diver to control their buoyancy underwater, therefore maintaining neutrality and not ascending or descending at uncontrolled rates. In order to ensure that scuba divers have air while they're underwater, scuba divers dive with a scuba cylinder. Scuba cylinders come in many different shapes and sizes, and you can buy one or rent one wherever you go in order to suit your diving conditions. So in summary, when you're considering your dive equipment, the first things you want to buy are mass fin and snorkel. This will also serve you on your vacation in case you just want to go snorkeling instead of underwater with your scuba equipment. As you progress, you're going to want to make sure that you consider proper exposure protection in a wet or a dry suit. You're also going to want to consider proper regulators and octopus and a computer to help make sure that you stay within your dive limits. You're also going to need a buoyancy control device or vest, and this will ensure that you enjoy your vacation or your diving locally to the max.